Hey everybody, it's Michelle from Cruising with the Coleman's and we are coming to you from the Tampa Super Show. This is the best rig I feel like I've seen all day today. I'm so excited to share it with you. This is the 293 RLDS and look at this outdoor kitchen. It comes with a TV, how cool is that? This outdoor kitchen has a drawer and of course has the wine fridge. Oh, there's no wine. I need to work on that. But it's got this really nice TV. While we're here, let's check out the back. Outdoor showers on the side of the rig. Of course, in the back, it's prepped for a backup camera. It's prepped for a ladder. And it has this really nice bumper with um, the reinforced tabs on the bottom. So you can put a bike hitch here and not void your warranty. Let's check out the front. So you've got your outdoor kitchen area with the TV, but you've got a separate area over here for cooking. I can imagine like a table out here, make a whole little L shape. You've got a table here um, and you've got this great lodge cast iron griddle. All of this comes out and I'm sure you can put it either in the outdoor kitchen or in this really nice pass through. Let's check it out. I love this pass through space. One of the things I love about it is, is it's bigger than ours because they took out the barrier that was here. And so now it's just open space. So you've got a lot of width here. All the apexes are coming with solar and here's your charge controller right here. We've got our spare tire got a place for our batteries, and of course two propane tanks. Let's check out inside. As we walk in, make sure you notice these solid stairs. I love these stairs. No more bounce when you're going up the RV, only when you're inside of it. All right. <laughs> Let's check out the bedroom on that note. We have a, a narrow walkway here, but I can get to my side of the bed as it's known in our rig. And that means on my side of the bed, I have extra closets. Oh my gosh. Wow, check that out. And then there's a drawer, nice deep drawer on the bottom. It's a really nice big closet, but you also have your closet space over here your closet space, um, your closet has even hanging here. So you've got hanging room here, you've got hanging on each side. And of course you've got a nice big area up here. In our over the cabinet, or over the bed storage, we put baskets and um, it's about this size. So it fits plenty of clothes. One of the other things I really like is I like how deep the side panel is. So if I wanted to store you know, a basket here or whatever I like to keep next to my bed. I've got that space, I've got that depth here. Um, and then down on the sides, there are USB chargers and an outlet. Before we leave the front bedroom, there is, um, it's prepped for a TV and we have an air conditioner unit in here and there's a door. So you've got complete privacy in this bedroom and you've got an air conditioner to keep you cool. Before we go to the main area of the coach, we've got the bedroom here, we go to the bathroom. We have a nice big open cabinet here. I mean, I could put plenty of things down here. And this has some cabinet space or some countertop space on the side. I could easily set my curling iron down while I'm working. There's room for my toothbrush. Got a nice cabinet up here. This is smaller than some of them, but I think this has at least some good counter space. I don't like it when there's no counter space at all. So this is nice. The door to this bathroom is a slider door. The door to the bedroom is open and closed. So um, you can access, you can open and close both at the same time. Do the toilet test. I have plenty of room. I love the height of this toilet. I've got plenty of elbow room, even with the door closed. And the shower. Well, I'm only 5'6", so I like the shower height, but Brian was in here and he his head wasn't in the skylight. We've got one shelf here. I could imagine hanging some baskets. Check out, we're gonna link a short up here of some baskets that we've put in our shower that I think would work really well here. As we move from the bedroom and the bathroom, I wanna note that there are some coat hangers right here. We also have this awesome Bluetooth speaker. So this Bluetooth speaker, you can take off you Bluetooth connect this with your phone and you can take it anywhere. You can take it out on the boat with you, you can take it on a bike ride, or you can just take it over to your neighbor's campground and annoy them. The other thing I noticed here is there are two USB chargers right here. I mean, I could imagine like maybe plugging a phone in and just setting it right up here while I'm playing so that it doesn't, 
the speaker doesn't kill my uh, cell phone. We've got all of our remotes here. This has got a dual slide out, so slide one and two are here, as well as the awning. And you can check your tanks right here. Got your thermostat here. But look at this coffee bar. I love this. I wish we had this in our rig. The storage goes another hand width wide. The storage is as wide as the entire cabinet. And then down below, you've got this little area where you could put baskets, but I can easily see this being a fantastic coffee in the morning, wine in the afternoon bar. Okay, before we move on, I mean, I love, let's just talk about the fact that we've kind of got a designated kitchen area. And then back where my cameraman is, is the living area. So in this kitchen area, we've got um, this, these two beautiful bench seats. They've got cabinets underneath, and this turns into a bed. And then over here, this is a similar island to what we have, but this has more counter space than what we have in our Apex, which I really like. I love, one, there's cabinet access on both, there's cabinet access on both sides. And this just goes all the way through. And then you can have access from the front. So what I like about it is that it's big space, but at the same time, it's not taking up like I can't, it's not like I'm, nothing's getting lost in there because there's so many doors. And if you've watched any of our tours, you know I am so in love with this sink. I have this at home. I love a big sink, so I don't feel like I'm messing with pots and pans. I can uh, clean everything I need. And of course, if guests are coming over and I don't want them to know I haven't cleaned those pots, I've got a cover and I really like that. I love this, I love this unit. This is very similar to our rig, which I really appreciate. You've got this one big cabinet up top. I could envision um, putting in, what I've done is I put in a, a tension rod in the middle so that I have stuff on each side and they don't fall over. I also have a little shelf liner down here on the bottom, which helps keep everything in place. If you're not the master chef, you're the organizer like I am, you've got a great place to store all of the things that you need in a well-working work, kitchen. Underneath here, we have a huge cabinet space. We also have three really nice sized drawers. You've got the over the cabinet area. One of the things I wish they'd put in is a little arm so that this stayed open. Oh, okay. As, over time, I wish there was an arm here so that it would stay open because ours doesn't stay open. This glass top makes it for a nice feature, folds up. And I, I appreciate that it's out of the way, but yet when you're not using it, creates a nice flat working space. You got a stove in here, another cabinet underneath, and then you've got a little shelf up here. We put a spice rack up here, which stays up there all the time, and I really appreciate that. And then of course, if you've watched any of our videos, you know how much we love the 12 volt fridge and freezer. Oh my gosh, hold on, I'll be right here. It's a little warm today, not that I'm complaining. I really appreciate how much space you have in here. If you're out for, you know, oh my gosh, if you're sleeping five in this rig or you're out for a little while, you've got plenty of space in your fridge and freezer so you don't have to make a stop at the grocery store all the time. But now, as I said, we've kind of got the bedroom, we've got the kitchen, and now we move into the back of the rig, which is the living room space. And look at this. I mean, look at this space. I feel like I could have a dance partner. I could dance in the here. <laughs> in this space, if it's a rainy night, you've got U-shaped seating. This turns into a bed. So you've got two recliners, you've got a bed, you've got a sofa that sleeps too. This rig could sleep five people comfortably, throw a couple sleeping bags on here. Honestly, you can put in as many as you want. Nice fireplace. I, what I really enjoy about this rig that we don't have is all the windows in the back. Because when you're in an RV, not you, you don't just want to talk to your friends, but you want to be nosy about what everybody else is doing. <gasps> I knew it. I was right. There was a noise last night. You've got a place here for your cups. Over here, you've got a nice big storage area for all of your remote controls. In the living space, you don't have a lot of cabinetry. You have two cabinets over the jackknife sofa. 
Otherwise you don't have a lot of storage space, but honestly, overall, I think this has enough storage space to really feel comfortable with five people that are sleeping here. This is a great campground coach. It's a great coach for you to be a part of a big community of other RVers. This is, I believe, the longest and the heaviest rig that Coachman makes. It is very similar to the one we have. We feel like it fits in all of the campgrounds, but also is easy to tow behind on our Pick, with our pickup truck. I hope you enjoyed this tour of this Coachman Apex. If you like this tour, make sure you give us a thumbs up. It helps other people see this video. Comment below if there's a feature that you don't like or you wish we would show you so you could see in other videos. And of course, if you wanna check out other Coachman Apex tours, I'll link them here. We have had a great time be being Coachman Apex brand ambassadors and we would love to take all of your questions to them. So leave them in the comments below. Have a great day and take an adventure with us the next time we got a video coming out.